we've got our we've got our invoice here, okay? And here on the invoice, we are going to figure out some different costs. So let's pick one of the items. Who wants to pick one of the items? Anissa, what pick, what item do we want to use? You want to use spaghetti sauce, spaghetti noodles. We want to use. We don't want to use toilet tissue or toilet uh, paper towels. We can use milk or butter or turkey breast. The milk. Okay, so we're using the milk. Does everybody see where the milk is? Yes, it's right here. Okay. So milk is on this line. Let's talk about our quantity and our quality. Uh, what is a quality description? What is a quality description? 2%. 2%. Good. That's a quality of the milk. I actually have to have 2% because my milk refrigerator is so cold. If I have less than 2%, then I'll form ice crystals in the milk. So there needs to be enough fat in there for me to not have ice crystals, which I love because it's like super Perfect. cold milk. Like that's the best thing in the world, is it not? Yeah. Right? Ice cold milk. Oh, I put ice gosh. in my milk. Mm -hmm. And we, we call it the cow, so it's like this giant five-gallon bag, we call it the udder, um, that we put into this little refrigerator, the cow, and you just snip the udder and then you slip the handle and the milk comes out. It's awesome. It's the best milk ever. All right, so 2%. What else is the quality? Well, we're talking about the milk right now. Oh, milk. Brand. Past, um, okay, the brand is Hood. Okay, so oh, Hood is the brand of milk. Uh, what is a quantity? Five gallons. Okay, so in this case, what is our as purchased unit? Five gallons. Good, so our as purchased unit is five gallons. Let's say, um, let's talk about a recipe. What would we use milk in a recipe for? Um, What's that? Heavy cream and Alfredo sauce. We don't want to go, we, we, wanna, we, don't, we don't want to make sure that's a real good. Um, let's use milkshake. Who said milkshake? Cereal. Okay, so milkshake. We're using milkshake, okay? We can come back and do cereal in a moment. So let's say in our milkshake, how much milk do we use? A cup. Okay, so a cup of, a one cup of milk. That is our recipe unit. So do our units match? Gallon and cup, they do not match right now, okay? So, bless you. We have to start with, how much does our milk cost us? $24. $24.75. Divided by five gallons. That gives us our cost per gallon. Hey Siri, what is $24.75 divided by five? 2,475 divided by 5 is 495. So $4.95 per gallon is what I'm paying for milk. Do my units match? No. No, I'm still gallons to cups. So how many cups are in each gallon? 16. 16. 16 cups gallon. 32. Wait. No, no, no. Wait, gallons. Gallons, gallons. Okay, so we have a gallon. There's four quarts in a gallon. 120, yep, 16 cups. Yep, you're right. Oh, well, you looked at me funny when I said <laughs> Don't question yourself. Yeah. Hey, Siri. What is $4.95 divided by 16? The answer is about 0 0.31 US dollars. 31 cents per cup. Okay. 31 cents per cup. <coughs> That's what the ingredient cost for that milkshake is, is 31 cents. Now, Frank said something about cereal, okay? <laughs> so if we're using cereal, we don't necessarily always have to figure out cost, okay? We can figure out cost, but let's say we want to figure out how much milk we need to order. How much milk do you think each person puts in their cereal on average? About a cup. Two cups. Two cups. Two cups. Two cups. Three, four, like, 
Ten, twelve ounces. Ten, twelve ounces. Depends on how much cereal you put. Depends on how much cereal. Let's just say. <laughs> let's say. Like, okay. The, oh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a cereal eater. <laughs> okay. So, in the interest of um, a debate and an argument about how much milk goes into our cereal, let's just call it um, three quarters of a cup. Okay, three quarters of a cup. Six ounces. Does that sound okay? Or is that not enough? Like a little bit. <laughs> you let the bowl tell you how much you see. Yeah, that's very true. That's a good point, because if your bowl is pretty big, then you can put a lot of cereal and a lot of milk in there. My bowls up in Maine are, are pretty small. They're like pretty pretty like average size bowls. So let's say let's just say six ounces, okay? So six ounces. What's our as purchase unit? Five gallons. And now we're going to six ounces. Okay, so now I'm asking how much, how many six ounce servings can I get out of this five gallon bag of milk? I'm, get... I'm not looking cost, I'm just looking about how much at the amount of servings I can actually get. Okay, so what were you gonna say, Frank? Sorry. Okay, so first we can do, let's say, five gallons. How many ounces are in? A gallon? 128 ounces. So we can get our total number of ounces that we need, or that we have total in five gallons. Okay, so what do we get? 640? Thank you so much. And now we can divide that by six ounces. Now our, now our units match. Okay, and so 640 divided by six ounces is what? 107 so I can get on average about 107 servings out of each five gallon bag of milk that's with zero spillage okay that's with zero spillage so if I know that I'm gonna have let's say 60 people for breakfast that means I need to have almost like one, 1 1.25 bags of milk every, oh, not 1.25, sorry. I need to have like at least one bag of milk, not for every day, because I'm going to have a little bit of extra each day. Um, so I need to, that, that tells me how much I need to prepare for and how much, I need to milk, how much milk I need to have on hand in order to get through breakfast if every single person has cereal, not every other person has cereal. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's use one more real quick. Okay, now let's talk about the turkey. So this is turkey, like a deli turkey that you see at the deli counter, okay? So what is a quality of the turkey? Browned in oil. It's browned in oil, okay, that's a quality. What else? It's the turkey breast. Good, that's the type of meat it is. What else? West Creek is the brand. What is a quantity? So nine pounds average. So basically what this is saying is on average, they're about nine pounds. But what you'll see is actual, my total weight, in this case, was 19.54 pounds. So between two of them in the package, they're really a little bit more. But on average, they're about nine pounds, okay? So you see the pack right here? It says two, that means there's two turkey breasts, like those big giant deli turkeys that you see at the deli counter. So there's two of those in each package. There's one five gallon bag of milk. There's 36 one pound butters in this in this case. So that's what this pack right here means, okay? So we're talking about turkey breast. How much do we get? We got 19.54 pounds, right? 
Okay, so let's talk that. Our as purchase unit is 19.54 pounds. How much turkey do we put on our sandwiches? <laughs> okay, Hector. Four ounces. Four ounces of turkey. True. I mean, now, now again. So, up in Maine, the students make their own sandwiches, and so I just put. You know, I mean, think about a twelve-year-old who's never, maybe never made their own sandwich before. Now they have to make their own sandwich. They don't know the concept of portion control, or they get. They all of a sudden now they are have this freedom to make their own sandwich and literally I've seen kids take like the entire container of pickles and put that between two pieces of bread and wrap it up for a sandwich to go for lunch. It's okay. That's your sandwich. As long as you're going to eat it, that's fine. So some students like meat, some students don't um, while they're up there. So you see a whole range of interesting um, concoctions. It's like the whole soda fountain thing, right? You're just like, you put what on your sandwich? But okay, that's fine. It's your sandwich as long as you eat it. I don't care. Just don't waste it. Okay, so 19.54 19 pounds. And we're going to four ounces. Okay, we're going to four ounces. And so what we need to do now is get our units the same. So let's do kind of a little bit of a combination of those two things. How many servings we're going to get out of this 19.54 pounds of turkey um, and um, the cost of each of those servings, okay? Ooh, light bulb just went off. Let's incorporate one more component, our percentage yield, okay? So how many of y'all ever seen those deli turkeys? They slice the deli turkeys, right? Or the, the deli meat. Do they serve every single thing they slice? No, they don't. The first few slices, they gotta throw those away because nobody wants to eat that. It's like the end of the bread. I mean, I eat the end of the bread. So do I. But yeah. some people don't, okay? It's like the end of the bread. Same thing too, you can't serve every single portion of that turkey because eventually it's gonna get, the other, end of the, uh, the other end of it is gonna get all messed up as well, okay? So let's say we have a, it's a relatively high percentage of yield Let's call it a 90% yield, okay? 90% yield. So what do we have to do first? We as purchased 19.54 pounds, but we've got to, we're only gonna get 90% of that left over. We're not gonna get 100% of it. You multiply it by point So we're gonna use our triangle. Our percents on the bottom our as purchased, which is our total on the bottom, and then our yield is up here at the top. So what do we have? We're looking for our yield, right? So we're covering that up, and what's left over? AP, which is 19.54 pounds, times our 90% yield. Oh my gosh, this is not. There we go. It's point nine. What do we have? So I'm actually only going to get 17.6 pounds out, or 17.59 pounds out of this. Why can I not run that to 17.6? I can't create that 0 0.01 of the pound. So I can't round this up to 17.6. So 17.59 is my actual amount, okay? So 17.59 is my actual amount. So I'm going to erase this over here. I'm going to cross this out, actually. Boom, boom, and now we have 17.59 pounds. So now I multiply that by what? Why 16 ounces? Because there's 16 ounces in a pound. We want to make our units match. So 17.59 pounds times 16 ounces gives me 281.44 ounces. Have y'all been on 281 lately? It is a mess up at 1604. 
It is That's going to be great when it's finished, but it's a mess right now. All right, 281. Sorry, I digress. 281 times 0.44, ou is our uh, 0 .44 ounces. Now... We want to divide that by, by four, ounces. four ounces because that's how many we get per serving. So 281.44 divided by four. And Laura, what do you get? One more time. 70.66, we all agree? 36. So 36, 70.36, thank you. So I can expect 70.36 servings out of that those two turkeys that I get. So if you're paying, okay. how much are you paying? So how much am I paying for? That's a great question. 76. I'm paying $75.62. So now remember, what is our cost per serving? Is that what we're looking for, our cost per serving? The formula that we use, remember that word per is your division line. So cost per serving. We cross out that per, and now what is our total cost? $75.62. Divided by seventy dollars and thirty six or seventy point thirty six servings. Sorry, and what do we get? A dollar seven cents per serving. Okay, a dollar and seven cents per serving. Now, if you are lost on this, don't worry. I'm recording this, and I'll post it on YouTube, and then you can, and I'll post it in Canvas, and you can watch this over and over and over again, okay? And go through the steps. We also, the next thing we're gonna do in just a moment, we have two more things we gotta cover today, which, what's, nine? nine? How many, 40 minutes? 25. 25 minutes, oh my gosh, okay, whew. Okay, yeah, well, we, I think we can do it. I think we can do it, okay. Um, so, you can see why up in Maine, one day, somebody left the fridge open a crack, and it, the, my entire refrigerator with all my lunch stuff that was prepped for the next morning, I don't know how long it was at, at a high temperature, above 40 degrees. I had to throw everything away. So in the middle of me having to make breakfast for 60 people, I then now had to also reprep all the lunch stuff, vegetables, meat, all, everything, and the cost that's associated with that's just one piece. There's lettuce, tomatoes, there's pickles, there's mayo, there's mustard. All of those ingredients I had to throw away. So the same thing happens in our restaurants. We've got to pay attention because if we have to throw this stuff away, there is a cost for every single thing. We've paid for that ingredient. Okay. Um, questions, comments, concerns about this? All right. So sometimes we have buffets. Okay. Sometimes we have buffets instead of actual plated meals. And so how do we figure out what that cost is? That's a good question. I'm really glad you asked. You overcharge. Okay. You overcharge, okay? No, you don't overcharge. You have to figure out what you're going to charge, first of all, but you also need to figure out what it's going to cost you, okay? And so oftentimes, when we do salad and buffets, we use a price per person, okay? or cost per person, okay? So, here is my breakfast buffet. Egg, sausage, bacon, biscuits, gravy, because we're in Texas, you have to have biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Pancakes, butter, and syrup, okay? This is my hot option on my buffet. Where do I get my standard recipe cost? How do, well, let me rephrase that. How do I get my standard recipe cost? Oh, from invoice. So I get my invoice and I do all of that. Everything we just did, I cost out. Remember last class we talked about that spaghetti recipe, that marinara sauce recipe? That's a standardized recipe. So I have to figure out my tray of eggs. How many eggs do I put in that tray of eggs? And that's what the cost is for that, okay? 
And so for this case, our eggs cost $72 for every tray of eggs that we put out. Is that what I said? $72. Oh, seven those are some golden eggs. $7.20 per tray that we put out. So every time I replenish those eggs, it costs me $7.20. So I have to keep track of how many times I replenish the eggs during my breakfast buffet. In this case, how many times was it? Five. 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 Okay, so just like in our recipes, now if I do 720 times 5, what do I get? $36? Do we all agree? Okay. $36. And we go all the way down, so then we can add it all up. Okay? So in the interest of time, Here we go. We have our total. This today, for breakfast, we served $151.66. That's what it cost us to put all that product out. Okay? Now, if I'm a hotel and I give complimentary breakfast, I'm not getting any money for that. It should be built into the cost of the room. Okay? If I'm a breakfast buffet place, then I should have gotten some revenue from that. Okay? And then that's why we can figure out what our cost percentage is. But in this case, we're just looking at what our cost per person should be, okay? In this case, I served how many people? 95. 95, so that means my cost per person is $1.60. So oftentimes when you're looking at buffets, you're not necessarily looking, or you can be looking at a food cost percentage, but you can also look at an appropriate range of the cost per person. How many, um, how many trays of bacon did we put out? 2.5. 2.5. You're like, wow, that's weird. Only 2.5? Why only 2.5? If I'm getting close to the end of breakfast service, am I going to put out a whole other tray of bacon? No. Okay. My sister, one time, this was like, this is awesome. I was a kid. My sister worked for Little Caesars. And um, one of the girls that she was working with, it was like, you know, 20 minutes before closing. And somebody called and ordered a pizza and they ordered crazy bread. And the girl that was working with my – my sister was the manager, and the girl that was working with her made an entire batch of crazy bread instead of just one order of crazy bread. So, of course, she brought it home, and we were all excited. I was like, sweet, crazy bread for days. Um, but the cost of that – so we don't necessarily need to put out an entire tray of bacon if we're getting close to it. So helping our staff understand – the implications, if I had put out an entire tray of bacon, that would increase my cost by five more dollars. And you're like, five more dollars, that's not a big deal. Five more dollars times 360 days a year, that's a huge deal. And so understanding that training process and to help other people understand why we do the things that we do it is also really important as a manager. Yes, sir. How close are these numbers to like an actual buffet? How close would these, these numbers be to an actual <clears throat> buffet? Um, is it pretty accurate? Like, I think I did. Um, I can't remember. I can't look at my Excel spreadsheet. I did this real quick this morning. Um, I think I did like seven. I think I did ten cents an egg or okay. or whatever, eight cents an egg. Um, sausage. I actually used the cost from my my rest my uh, invoice right here for my sausage. No, but what I'm saying is, could that much food have fed ninety five? People, oh, right? you, that's, what that's what you're asking. Um, I, 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 I'm not sure, to be honest okay. with you. I think I did. What's 48 times 5? 96. I mean, 40. So that's, I mean, that's, um, I did 48 eggs in each thing. So that's like two and a half eggs per person. So oh, that, okay. that, is, that could be pretty, pretty accurate. Okay. Yo, breakfast is cheap, y'all. Breakfast is cheap. So if you're going to be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you need to make your money at breakfast. And you want to – because your dinner is your dinner profit's not going to be as as much. So breakfast is is breakfast items are cheap. Yes, sir. The uh, hotel I work at, they charge like 28 bucks for – Yeah. Buffet, so. You're at which hotel reminder? Uh, Hilton Palacio. The Hilton Palacio, yeah. So a lot of uh, – I know the Weston has a breakfast buffet. What do you all charge for that? $23 a person. Wow. Yep. So, <laughs> but that's some good bacon. Let's not let's, let's be real, y'all. That bacon is thick and it is good. 
Yeah, and I will be that person. I'll take a whole tray of bacon. I, I'm I'm not shy. You gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm, I I'll I'll drive that cost way up. I have no problem doing that. Homer Simpson. I also drive my cholesterol up. <laughs> so, um, in the interest of time, we've got 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to move through this relatively quickly. Um, I'm gonna give you two pieces of paper. You actually need this. They're identical. One. You are going to, here, actually just do this. Take two of each piece of paper, uh, or take two of each, because there's it's the same identical piece of paper. This first one, we're just going to write the formulas, just the words. The second one is where you'll actually put the numbers in to calculate the answers, okay? Um, the homework will be to get all the words, everything in, and we'll go over on Monday. We'll go over the math part of it on Monday. So, because we may not be able to, in 20 minutes, you may not be able to write as fast as me, but we're going to go through these one by one. Is that a challenge? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We can possibly see. But that way, I'll, I'll post this online, so that way, if you, if you, don't, if you miss something, you can go back and, and fill it in, okay? We write it on one today, correct. So we are just calculating the formulas, just the just the the, the um, equations, okay? Because y'all know that I love math by formulas. So we're looking at how many portions are in a 12-pound brisket, okay? So for this, you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. For this, we're gonna take our total weight. And we are going to multiply by 16 ounces. Why 16 ounces? 16 ounces in a pound. Because our serving size is in ounces and our, our weight is in pound that we order it in. Okay, so our total weight of times 16 ounces gives you your total ounces. Okay. Do we get all of that weight? No. No, we don't. Okay. So we're actually going to have a 50% yield. And so in this case, do we add or, we, or sorry, do we multiply or do we divide by our yield percentage? Look at our triangle. This is our yield. This is our percent. This is our as purchased. So if I'm looking for my yield, I cover that up. And what's left over? Times the um, percent yield. That gives me my number of usable ounces. Okay, that equals my edible ounces. That's my total. And now I divide by my serving size. Okay, divide by my serving size. That gives me my number of portions. You said percent yield, right? Yep, percent yield. That's my number of servings. Number two, how much money in sales will he expect to bring from a 12 pound brisket? Okay, so my number of servings, which is our answer to number one, times our selling price, which is up in the top. Number three, what is the portion cost of our 12 pound brisket? Okay, so that is our total cost which equals our as purchase weight As purchase weight times the as purchase cost. So in this case up here, you'll see it's 495 per pound. That's our as purchase waste time weight times our as purchase cost. And we're going to divide that by the number of servings. What is the food cost percentage? That is our serving cost. Using our triangle, divided by our selling price. 
Nice. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. We booked a party for 250 people. They're all having brisket. How wonderful. Okay. How many total pounds of brisket does he need to purchase for the party? Okay. Okay, so we start with the number of servings. And we need to divide by 16. Why are we dividing by 16? Wow. We're looking for pounds. I don't call up Cisco and say, I need 2,000 ounces of brisket. Okay, we call Cisco and say, I need this many pounds of brisket. Okay, and so we divide by 16 to get the number of pounds, the edible portion pounds. Edible portion pounds. Now, if I need 200 pounds of brisket, can I order 200 pounds of brisket? No. no. I'm going to have shrinkage. You need more. I need more. I need to order more pounds of brisket. If I need 200 to slice up, I need to order more because I'm going to lose some in the trimming and in the cooking process. Okay? So this is our, that's why this EP is important. That's our edible purchase pounds. That's what we need to actually slice up into our servings. Okay? Um, oh, hold on. Time out. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I made a mistake. Track. Hopefully you're not using pen. I am. Mm, well, this is math. You should be using pencil. Okay. Let's do this. Hold on real quick. Two, uh, no, I'm, not, I'm not using numbers. Ah, this is what happens when I'm in a hurry. Okay. Here we go. All right. So we need the number of servings times the serving size. That gives us our total ounces needed. That's our edible portion, okay? That's our total, the total ounces needed. And now we divide that by 16 ounces. And that's going to give us the edible portion pounds. I just forgot that one step. Okay, our edible portion pounds. Then we need to apply that yield factor. So up at the top, did we multiply or divide by our yield factor, number one? Multiply. Okay, so that was going from as purchased to edible. So now if I'm going edible to as purchased, what do I do? I do the opposite, I divide. If you're unsure, draw your triangle. Yield percent as purchased. If now I'm looking for my as purchased, I cover that up and what's left over? Yield divided, yield divided by percentage. So I divide that edible portion pounds by my yield percentage and that gives me how much as purchased to buy. How much weight to buy? Okay, so our total ounces needed divided by 16 equals edible pounds purchased, right? Uh huh. And, okay, you just go in with that. Okay. Yep. So I, I, you, you can probably write this all on one line. I have to write a little bit bigger. Yep. Total cost of the brisket for the party. I take my as purchase amount and I multiply by my cost. Per, or actually, my as purchased cost. I'm also my as purchased cost. Yes, sir. The, the tools that you put on Canvas that are on Excel would they be useful for checking our answers? Yes, there is. I believe there is an as purchase and edible portion um, that as purchase edible portion um, practice. Uh, there is one on there. I can, yes, there actually is a brisket math calculator that I've created. Yeah, the, there is a brisket math calculator on, on Canvas I've created for you. Yeah, so it goes along with these, with these problems. Okay, um, good question. All right, so as purchase amount times the as purchase cost. Number, oh, that's my 10-minute warning. Ooh. Okay, so number seven and eight are a duplicate of five and six, okay? 
It's just, we don't, if we have a party for 250 people, I'm not going to only create, I'm not only going to prepare 250 servings. Because what if somebody shows up? Yeah. Okay. So we always do what's called an overage. So in this case, I, I should remember, I just, I just changed this number seven. So number seven is not a duplicate of number um, five. <laughs> There's one extra step. It's a duplicate plus one. Okay. The duplicate plus one. Let's read number seven. Chris wants to make sure there's enough brisket in case there are extra guests. He plans to order enough brisket for a 10% overage. Tying it all back together. A 10% increase. So you, so you just multiply the, in, the, the, in, the answers. So we, purchase amount to buy the what's that? Yep. Mm-hmm. Now you can't do necessarily as purchased because we want to we want to we want to go back to the very beginning. So we're going to do 275 guests, right? We're going to do 250, and 10% of that is what? 25. 25, right? Knock off that zero. So we're going to do 250 plus. Okay. So first we need to calculate. Calculate the new number. That's the first step. And then repeat number five. Okay. Calculate the new number of servings. So in this case, we have to apply that percentage overage. 10% over. Questions, comments, concerns about this. So on Monday next week, we are going to work out one brisket math problem as, a, as in class. We'll work out these problems in class. I'm going to give you a completely different one with different numbers to work out for homework that will be due on Wednesday next week. Okay? Um, so Wednesday next week, we will finish up Chapter 3. So that means Unit 1 will be done. And then chapter four is pretty much its own unit because there's a lot of information in chapter four, okay? And then we'll move forward. Questions, comments, and concerns. So as soon as I get this um, downloaded or uploaded onto YouTube, I'll post the link in the recorded lectures module in Canvas. Before you go, I need to take attendance real quick. Sorry, hold on.